Sandra and Jesse, thank you very much. And here they come, Fans Crew 5. Fleet crew are, are, they're ready for crew arrival, and crew are walking out of the ONC room now on schedule. Indeed they are, and there they are. The astronauts of Crew 5 taking their first steps outside as they head to the pad. From left to right, cosmonaut Anna Kikina, Josh Cassida, Commander Nicole Mann, and Koichi Wakata. So that was a pose for a picture. And here they go to their ride out to the pad. Three Teslas all lined up in queue, right, along with a full security escort. And the folks you see there, family, loved ones, this is a moment to have an exchange, Bob. It is, it's an opportunity for the crew, if you will, to take a little bit of a break from the technical briefs that they've been having this morning as they got suited up and understood what the weather conditions were. They get a chance to say goodbye to their families, uh, see some smiling faces. Again, have a little bit of a relaxing moment with their families before they get serious again and head out to the launch pad. And they keep a certain distance away. You can see the stanchions, you can see the family that are gathered there. And of course, that's in the interest of the astronauts' health. That's absolutely true, Daryl. You know, the crew has been in a quarantine state for uh, the last several days. You know, they don't want to bring anything to space station that uh, we don't have, you know, really tight control of. And so they'll stay back from folks, but uh, they'll give some air hugs and some waves. All right, let's listen in. can't make out exactly what's being said, but we know from your experience, Bob, that it's, it can be an emotional moment. Uh, absolutely, you know, for the Demo 2 mission, my son was super excited to yell, Launch America. So that was the one thing that you could absolutely hear, even inside the, the suit with our deep insert earplugs, you could hear that Launch America tune when he uh, sang it out. <laughs> your wife said the same thing, that uh, you could hear him shouting out and and that's something actually particular to astronauts with young family members, with young children, that you have to prepare them for. I was watching a documentary. Um, your son wasn't exactly on board at the beginning. Uh, absolutely, at the beginning of the idea of, of a parent launching into space was something he was uh, unfamiliar with, a little bit scared of, uh, but we brought him down here to Kennedy, got him a chance to see a cargo launch into space, and then uh, by the end of that experience, he was ready for me to go first, mommy to go second, and he said he was going third, so we're, uh, we'll <laughs> wait to see if that happens. And then we'll have him on for the Crew 37 show. Yeah, he thinks probably Crew 16, so Crew he's on a okay, little bit earlier. schedule, yeah. I like him, he's uh, ambitious. Look at that license plate. I was just noticing that blast off. Yeah, Daryl, the, the SpaceX team has been creative with those license plates. It's always cool to see what they add to the Teslas to make the experience just a little bit personalized. It's a nice touch. As you can see, the media in the background positioning themselves for a good shot as the Teslas roll out with a full security escort on a 20 minute drive to pad 39A. And they're queuing up a playlist right now, Bob, uh, with some tunes. In fact, I've got the playlist to one of the vehicles. I believe it's the lead astronaut vehicle, which would be the second one in this line. Here's what they're going to be listening to. Oh Yeah by Yellow. <laughs> Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins. Stronger by The Score, Slow Ride, Fog Hat. Everybody Got There Something by Nikki Costa. Sabotage by The Beastie Boys. Mainstream Kid by Brandy Carlisle and Don't Stop Believing" by Journey. It's a nice list right there. It's a wonderful mix. There's a little bit of a slow and react relaxing portion of it, as well as something with a, a little bit of emotion as they head out to the launch pad. You know, when Doug and I headed out to the launch pad, we had some uh, tunes as well, and uh, we took the experience to capture kind of the same things. The excitements of uh, launching into space, Back in Black was one of the songs we selected from ACDC, since we were both headed back into, into space again, and uh, it, was, it was an exciting time for us. 
And that was followed, I believe, by a girl from Ipanema, <laughs> which it was a very <laughs> much a contrast. In it, it was, Daryl. You know, this is a 20-minute ride out to the launch pad. The crew's been on a very tight schedule as they uh, work their way to get to this point. But now's the time to sit back and uh, wind your watch and, and wait for the actual launch event. So that, that waiting music came from the Blues Brothers movie, and, and Doug and I knew there was just going to be a time where we had to wait our turn to launch on that rocket. Windows are open now in the Teslas and family members just now retreating back from the vehicles, but then also getting another moment up there next to the car, which just completed. And there they go. Core on countdown, T minus three hours and 15 minutes. Crew are beginning their transport from the ONC room to the pad right on schedule. There's the call out from the SpaceX team. The crew now departing the Neil Armstrong operations and checkout building. Slow rolling. As they make a shot available for all of the media and photographers down there. They're beginning their 20 minute drive with a full security escort across NASA's Kennedy Space Center and out to launch pad 39A. The track they're taking goes through the industrial area and then gets out to the NASA Causeway, and the Kennedy Causeway. And Bob, as we were watching that moment there, I want